like to do is introduce Judy Kurd as our uh, reporting secretary. Judy. Uh, Horace Reese. Don Whipple. Jim Pruitt. John Newley. And myself, Bill Archis. Okay. We're we'll, we'll going to take the roll call. Bill Archis. Here. John Newley. Here. James Pruitt. Here. Don Whipple. Here. Horace Reese. Yes, here. Okay. Uh, approval of the agenda. I think we need to add uh, approval of minutes for the special meeting. That was That was uh, September 4th, yes. September 4th, add that to it. Anybody see anything else that needs to be added or deleted? Accept the motion to approve. I move we approve that as amended, the agenda as amended. Second. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Approve. Aye. Okay, uh, Judy, would you want to read the minutes from the August 26th meeting, please? Board of Aviation Commissioners, Monday, August the 26th, 2013. President Bill Ernstis called the meeting to order at 7 p.m. Roll call was taken. Present were John Dooley, Bill Ernstis, Don Whipple, and Doris Reese, and Jim Pruitt. John Dooley served as acting secretary for this meeting. The meeting agenda was unanimously approved. John Dooley read the minutes from the July 22, 2013 meeting. The board approved the minutes 4-0 with Jim Pruitt abstaining. John Dooley read the airport financial report. Old business. After discussion, a motion was made to amend last month's motion to authorize the city clerk treasurer to pay any bills, not just from Topps Hardware, under $500 when necessary to avoid late charges. The motion passed roll call vote 4 to 0 with Jim Pruitt and State. New business. Horace Reese suggested that the board consider having one of its monthly meetings each year at the Greensburg Municipal Airport. No motion was made and the matter was, ta matter was tabled. After discussion, Oris Reese motioned and Jim Pruitt seconded that the board approve payment of the bills as presented. The motion carried by roll call vote 5 to 0. The board discussed the budget for 2014. Don Whipple and Bill Ernst disagreed to study the figures and present a recommended budget to the board at the September meeting. Don Manley from BFNS presented the following information. One, he recommends to the board that they adopt a 6.8% rate to award to disadvantaged business enterprises for federal grant programs of $50,000 or more or $75,000 in planning services for federal fiscal years from October 1, 2013 to September 30, 2016. After discussion, Jim Pruitt motioned and Don Whipple seconded that the board adopt the recommended rate. The motion passed roll call vote 5-0. The rate will be published in the Greensburg Daily News and the Indianapolis Reporter. Two, he clarified the meaning of an email between Andrew Maximovich excuse me, <laughs> of BFNS and Bob Bochamp of the FAA. Bill Ernstis invited comments from the board or public. Donna Stevens asked how the airport improvements would help her personally. Don Manley responded by explaining how it is a part of the overall plan to provide basic infrastructure, such as roads, bridges, rail, water, and utilities, which benefit the entire community collectively. Jean Johannigman asked that the economic impact report be prepared by economist Morton Marcus. John Dooley informed her that the report is on hold due to Mr. Marcus's illness. Jean Johannigman remarked that the airport expansion would be meaningless unless the city's water problem is solved. Jim Pruitt motion and Oris Reese seconded that the meeting be adjourned. The motion passed unanimously and President Bill Ernstis adjourned the meeting at 7.58 p.m. The next meeting is scheduled for Monday, September the 23rd, 2013, 7 p.m. at City Hall in Greensburg, Indiana. Any corrections, additions? I have a correction to make on the first page here. Uh, uh, Don Manning, you, you do this and you put a revised figure under his Don Manning for BNFNS number one. Uh, under disadvantaged business enterprises, federal grant programs, it should be $250,000, not $50,000. Don reviewed the minutes and corrected that, so. And 
units of that is two hundred fifty thousand dollars or more. This is the next one two seventy five then? No. Oh okay. Two seventy five. Okay. Okay. Any other additions or corrections? were Mary Gary Herbert, BF and S engineer Don Manley, airport manager Der Jerry Scheidler, and assistant manager Bernie Green. John Dooley served as acting secretary for this meeting. New business. Bill Ernst has said this special meeting was called to order to discuss deficiencies with the Jet A fuel system. He introduced Mike Cormos, district manager of A Fuel Corporation. Mr. Cormos said that jet fuel always has water in it, which over time separates out of the fuel. We have Jet A fuel premixed with Prist, a fuel system ice and hinder. After inspecting our system, Mr. Cormos discussed the basics of a fuel storage and dispensing system and listed deficiencies in our fuel farm. We have a single, number one, we have a single stage filter rather than the required multiple stage filtration. Two, there is no sump to remove water from the fuel tank. Three, we do not have a required differential pressure gauge on the filter. Four, our after filtration pipe is a black pipe and should be stainless. Five, there is no in-tank fuel recirculation system. We can no longer dispense Jet A fuel until the, these problems are rectified. Remedies to fix our current system versus replacing <coughs> the entire works with a new system were discussed. Bill Ernst said he would con contact qualified contractors to discuss and price both options. President Bill Ernst has adjourned the meeting at 6.49 p.m. Additions or corrections? Okay, the motion to accept. I move we accept. To second. All those that were in attendance say aye. 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 Okay. Accept. Okay. Uh, John, would you want to read the financial report? Yes, the uh, financial report for the Greensburg Municipal Airport. We have the three breakdowns, three, three separate accounts. In the airport report improvement account, our year-to-date balance is $124,427.02. Our aviation rotary fuel fund has $90,954.35. Our airport operations fund, $222,457.26. The total of all three airport accounts combined, $437,838.63. Thank you. Okay, old business, the fuel system. I spoke with Larry Gentry this afternoon about 4.30. I do not have it in writing, but I will have some time later on this week. He will send me an email with exact figures. But for the sake of discussion, he said, one, we need a new tank, uh, and with a new tank and repairing the present system that we have, we run someplace between fifty-five and sixty thousand dollars. If we replace the tank and put a complete new pumping system in front, we're talking upwards of ninety-five to a hundred thousand dollars. So that's something to think about for the time being until I get some exact figures. Yes. Don't we have some problems with our pumping equipment? Uh, that will re replace anything that's effective in it that we need to replace. Okay, new tank and replace anything that's correct. Put in all new stainless steel pipe. And, uh, okay. Okay. So those are the two figures that I have. Uh, when I get those, I think I'll, I'll call us. I'll send them to everybody in the email. Okay. And then we can call a special meeting and determine exactly if we want to go with the new. Now the Garcet uh, is right up about $95,000 to $100,000 for a whole new unit to come in and set. And the other two units that I had talked to people about were in the same vicinity price-wise. So it, 
this is my first thought is if we need to repair or if we went to a, a new one we ought to do a, a new one piece unit that's smooth if if we repair what we have are we not looking at something that would be rather expensive to move if we had to move it i would think so i think we need to think about the yeah. idea of i'll tell you what i can do when i talk to them again i can ask them if we ever decided to move our fuel system, our fuel farm, what he roughly would think it would cost to do that. I'm sure it wouldn't be cheap. No. Not what we have. No. no. We're but talking about just a Jet A system? Yes. Well, right now, that's what we're talking about, just a Jet A. All right, yeah. Another factor there that the, the new covers what, a 12,000 yeah. gallon tank? Yeah, it would be a 12,000 gallon tank. Okay, what, about the, what about the new and the, the new tank in the 55 to $60,000? That be It'll be uh, twelve thousand. Twelve thousand. Yeah. Yeah. And there's we have them now. We have ten. Uh, eight. eight. Okay. And for Jerry, he'll tell you more about it. There's huge advantage. We're required to have a certain. Let me ask, a certain load. So let me ask you this: yeah. Our our av gas system. It, 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 I presume that it's all right. It's, it's, it's all right. right. Correct. It's the jet fuel that. Main, the main concern with jet fuel is that you don't um, get up in the air and you gel up and get well, frost and die and lose fuel. Um, yeah, Mike Horvos, when he was there at the special meeting, looked at both sides. He said he saw no deficiencies in the 100 low end. And uh, today we could use jet fuel solid. Oh, big time. Three, big, three or more crop dust were sitting on the ground at one time. Had three of them out there sitting on the ground at one time. But if you left, mm -hmm. I yeah. look back after you left, yeah. Bill. Yeah. See that big job. I saw him coming in as yeah. I was leaving. Yeah. Okay. Um, the budget. Don and I did meet on the budget. We haven't finalized it yet. But I need to uh, get the figures and put them on the computer and make sure that we all balance out. Yeah. And I will have that done. And he and I will meet again, and we will have it for you in the next week. Uh, did you have some questions too to take to city clerk treasurer? Yes. Yeah. Yes, I did. Yeah. Yes, I did. Yeah. Are they required to have that by a certain? Uh, actually, this is kind of an update. It's already been done. But this, this would be an update. Correct everything that's uh, just kind of lumped in before. Okay. New business. Uh, approval of bills. Did everybody get a copy of all the bills? There's a bunch of them. Yeah. And I do want to mention something. Uh, in the bills that we have, Bridget, for uh, the special meeting, she sent it to the Indiana Recorder. And I also got a bill through Butler Graham and Cypher for $10.94, which would be on the next month's bill. And it was posted by them also at the Indianapolis Recorder. Is that correct? So it got published in the Indianapolis Inland Apple Tree Quarter two times. Once by us and once by them, uh, plus the Greensburg paper. And it's a requirement, it goes in both of them, but it's not a requirement, it goes in one or two times. But I just want to let you know that that will probably show up in next month's, unless you want to take care of it. You don't want to pay it. The reason why we don't have a home park under Okay. Any other questions on the bills? Just a comment. It's got uh, Paul Scheiner's. Yes, you got the hanger here in it. It's, if you've been out there, it's all painted. You fix the walk. It looks, looks pretty spiffy. Looks think. good. Looks good. It's real good. Yeah. So every, everything's done that was supposed to be done? Yes. Mm -hmm. Is that right, Jerry? Yeah, it looks good. I'm moving we pay the bills. I have a second. I'll second. Okay, uh, I'd like a roll call vote on this, please, uh, Judy. Bill Arsis? Yes. John Dooley? Yes. James Pruitt? Yes. John Whipple? Yes. Horace Reese? Yes. <coughs> okay. Mr. Manley?
report on the environmental assessment process, we did receive FAA comments. Um, they're minor in nature. There's a number of them. They're minor in nature. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Uh, and there's a number of them, but they're all minor in nature, so we're working through those and we should have those comments for uh, review by the end of the week. And we expect that uh, this won't be the end of the comment period. We expect the FAA, as Bob has indicated to us, that uh, probably take two or three more uh, rounds of comment review before he'll be satisfied with the, uh, the environmental assessment process. So that's where we're on that. Uh, <clears throat> the next item, is there any questions on the environmental process at this point? How long do you think, it, how much, how much longer do you think it's going to take? I'm estimating probably each round of comments is about a month to uh, finish it up. A month for each round, for two or three, so you're looking at two or three more months. End of the year? Yeah, probably. Jeez. It's already been two years. <laughs> That's yeah. terrible. That's terrible. Yeah. So, um, the CIP is the other item at the uh, last meeting. I think I presented a uh, copy of the CIP. You know, any reviews or any comments is on the CIP process at this point? I have copies. Uh, document from the last last year's CIP 2014 to 18. We're updating it for this year's CIP for 15 and 18 uh, to 19. It's a five-year program. And the list is uh, recommended to remain the same unless you have any other ideas moving or switching priorities in the uh, in the list itself. Right now, the uh, first priority is day six of reimbursement of parcels, land land purchases for runway 119, and then the runway 119, and then the last priority item is uh, water line extension for fire service at the airport. In general, that's uh, the rundown of the priorities. Of course, is breakdown of several items under the second sheet that uh, reflect the total picture for the five-year CIP. CIP uh, is, stands for Capital Improvement Program. I don't think I've mentioned that before. Don, if you'll promise this schedule, I'll try to live that long. <laughs> okay? Um, I'm going to make that a guarantee that you do. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Jeez. I think you can do that, huh? <laughs> <laughs> you, you also part C's and <laughs> Well, sometimes I feel like I do that. <laughs> Which is good. Don, uh, now, none of this includes, I mean, the lighting doesn't take place until much further down the there, none of this includes any of the uh, instrument landing systems or anything like that, right? Uh, it is not instrument landing system at all. Okay. Okay. The uh, system, the lighting system is only edge lights, uh, precision approach path indicators, and runway end identification lights. Instrument landing system lighting is something different than that. Yeah, I know. This does not also. This also does not include any taxiway. That's correct. It includes a taxi. It does include a taxiway connector to the existing taxiway right. system. Right. So we're you know, at least at this point we're on a back taxi. Correct system.
this is just basically the runway. Yes. The primary function of this is the runway. Yes.
to um, one thirty. So you're welcome to join us that day. If not, the entire uh, conference is available for your for your attendance as well. There's a lot of good information that can, comes into these meetings, and you get to meet some of the FAA officials that make decisions that are decision makers for this airport. I just have a question about your special meeting on your the problem with the fuel. <laughs> Were you aware of this before the meeting? And if not, yeah, that's why we called the meeting. So, how long has this problem been going on? Well, we haven't been able to sell fuel. I, I don't remember the exact date that we quit selling fuel, but uh, apparently we'd had a problem before. We really weren't aware of it, aware of it until the air fuel people uh, uh, got involved. We don't plan on selling any fuel to anyone that could ever cause anyone to have an accident. But that's only one, but you've got more than one kind of fuel at the airport. So we have our jet A fuel and we have 100 low lead gasoline. And it's just the jet A fuel that has the problem. That's correct. Anything else? I'm going to entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Do you have a second? Yep. All those in favor say aye. 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 We're adjourned. Thank you.